So what is Uranus? Uranus is a blue gas giant in the solar system. It is the seventh planet from the sun and it is seven times the distance from Earth to the sun. So from here all the way down to wherever the sun is, that distance times 20 is how far away Uranus is. Uranus is 64 times the volume of Earth and also its temperature is negative 370 degrees Fahrenheit. But you know, how do we how do we even get the planet Uranus? Who even named it? Because like right off the bat, that's just a really weird name. Uranus was discovered in the 18th century by William Herschel. People have been able to see it for quite some time, but due to its blue color, people thought it was a star, and it's just super duper far away. You can't even see it from here. But when it was discovered, they were originally going to continue naming it after the Roman gods that they had for Mars, Neptune, Jupiter, and etc. But I guess this planet was just a little bit different because they did have a name set for Uranus, and that name would have been Callus, one of the Roman gods. But instead of using that name, they decided to use the Greek version of Uranus, which then got Latinized to Uranus. So now that we got the name of <laughs> Uranus out of the way, what even is Uranus? Well, it's really hard to get to Uranus actually. I don't think anyone's ever been there before, so it's really hard to get solid data, but they have sent probes, most notably Voyager 2, out there to gather information. And according to National Geographic, Uranus has an Earth-sized core made out of iron and magnesium silicate. If other than the cord, Uranus is approximately 80% a worldwide ocean of ice and ammonia and methane, which gives the color its wonderful blue color. And according to the comparative models of Neptune and Uranus, an article online, Uranus consists of three layers. You first have the rock layer, then you have the ice shell, and then you have the atmosphere that composes the rest of it. But Uranus is actually a very interesting and unique planet in the solar system. I'll tell you why. So Uranus's axis is actually on the side, approximately 97.77 degrees tilt. So Earth kind of rotates like that, but Uranus kind of rotates like that. To show you a live demonstration of how Uranus is, <laughs> we have this representing the sun. Okay, so. Here is Uranus. This is the top, and right on the bottom is the bottom. One of them's a the North Pole, one of them's a the South, but apparently scientists don't know which is which. Normal planets are up and down to an angle. They kind of just go around the sun. They're just hanging out. You know, it's like, oh, this is so fun, yay! But Uranus is sideways. And one side points towards the sun. And the way it rotates, which I thought was very interesting, was that one side always points towards the sun. And it takes a very long time for it to go around. A year on Uranus is about 84 years. That's a long time. That's longer than I'm going to be alive. Another interesting fact about Uranus is that even though it does rotate on the side, its rings also go around it too. It has about 27 moons and 13 rings. That's amazing. But why does Uranus go on its side? That's a really weird position for a planet to be in. Scholars believe that the reason Uranus is on its side, <laughs> you can't say that with a straight face, I'm sorry. In the 1700s, Pierre Laplace theorized that this entire solar system was caused by gas floating around in space that eventually condensed to form planets and whatnot. This theory is supported by most of the planets rotating on the same axis, relatively speaking, to the sun. But how did Uranus get its signature tilt? Scholars theorize that a large space object at some point hit Uranus. You can't really say that with a straight face, but I have another theory that scholars also believe.
there is no evidence to back the claim that a rock hit Uranus. First off, there is no large rock particles or areas of impact noticeable on Uranus or any of its moons, and the mass of its moon and rings does not equal anything near the size of the object that could have hit Uranus and tilted it on its side. Plus, the orbit of Uranus is too circular and perfect to suggest that it was hit by a rock. If something were to hit Uranus, it would definitely ruin its orbit, making it more of an ecliptic orbit around the sun. Where one side gets closer and it goes farther away from the other side. The orbit of Uranus around the sun is mostly circular, similar to Earth's, which if a large object did hit that planet, the orbit would not be the same. Uranus's orbit is also too close to the ecliptic plane in the solar system, which suggests that it was not hit by an Earth-sized rock at some point. The ecliptic plane is basically an observation made with all the planets. All the planets are kind of like orbiting on their own little rings around the same plane. Uranus does the same thing, but if something were to hit Uranus to give it that type of angle, it would not be on that ecliptic plane along with the rest of the planets, but it is. If Uranus wasn't hit by a rock, then how did it even get the way it is? The answer to this predicament is found in Genesis 1. And according to Answers in Genesis Online, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth in literal 24 hour days. The earth is also roughly 6,000 years old according to the Bible, which makes sense for the apparent young age of Uranus. Uranus's orbit shows no signs of any catastrophic event happening to tilt it on its axis. That kind of leads us to how Uranus was formed. All God had to do to make Uranus was speak it into existence. And that's how Uranus was formed. Uranus also generates just a little bit of energy, enough to make it question how old Uranus actually is. Because if it is as old as people say it is, there'd be no energy coming out of Uranus. So overall, Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. It has an Earth-sized core, followed by being 67 times the volume of Earth. It is not created on accident by evolution. And it is created by God, by being spoken, and it is not the result of being hit by a rock. Because God made it like that, and it's too perfect to be hit by a rock. Uranus is one beautiful planet.